Okay, so I wanted to demonstrate our matrix capper. This is an air activated capping machine. It takes around 40 psi to run it. It does have a bleed off valve, an air regulator in the back there, and an oiler. Not a oiler. It is air activated by pressure. When this gets pressure, it runs. It does have a chuck on here that can be taken off and replaced with any other bottles. Uh, bottle sizes are super easy and then also these rubbers are uh, replaceable. These rubbers when they are new are very sticky so sometimes the bottles will go up when it is done capping. We usually say if it's a food grade product to uh, use veg food grade vegetable oil um, and you just put a little drop on this rubber. If, you, if you're not concerned about any food grade stuff, maybe use WD-40 or something and just put a little drop on, on that rubber to kind of uh, get it a little bit not so sticky as you're capping in the beginning. Once the rubber wears in, it'll work fine every time. So what you want to do is when you are done filling with your matrix filler, you'll have a full, all these bottles filled with liquid. Go ahead and just put your eyedroppers or caps on the bottles. Then what you want to do is just slide the tray in. Make sure the tray is against these, these stops here and the stop in the back here. When all that's good, you could go ahead and just like the matrix filler, go ahead and click cycle start. And we are going and capping. Uh, it capped this one here. It doesn't have a seal on it. It's been taken off but you can you can hear that the child proof it has been actuated that it did uh, tighten all the way let me go ahead and see if I can loosen this with one hand here so we could run it again we'll go ahead and put it here you want to make sure that your caps are not like that make sure they are you know at least kind of straight when you do have that safety seal on the caps it'll actually just by nature make it straight so sometimes it'll automatically stop and sometimes it'll just keep spinning what that is is you have a torque adjustment here uh, when you're running uh, little bottles like this the torque adjustment is just one click so if you guys listen I'm gonna turn this knob and you'll hear just one click that's kind of where you want your torque setting and 40 psi these don't need to don't need a lot. You don't want to really over tighten them. You'll wear out the rubber in here prematurely. As far as programming goes, it's pretty much the same. Um, we do have a video of how to make your new tray position. Um, the layout itself on the user interface is pretty much the same, except uh, our new thing, bottle count, is on the filler and on this. Uh, the big thing is cap down distance. We have a video of how to find that. You also have a cap down speed. Cap down speed is how fast this guy is traveling. Then you have a cap down delay. So you might not see it, but actually there is a half a second delay before that rises back up. What that is doing is just ensuring that these caps are on there all the way. Now you don't want like a 10 second delay and just have the bottle spinning. You'll you'll blow out your trays pretty fast. Um, a half second's usually pretty good. That's what I like. Uh, that way, see, it's just if it does keep spinning like that, it, it's only going to do it for a half second. Then what we have is a travel feed rate. The travel feed rate and all the rest of these are just like the matrix filler, but I'll kind of go through them. Your travel feed rate is how fast it's going from bottle to bottle. Then you have a row quantity. Your row quantity is how many rows there are. So this is set up just like an Excel document. So you have rows that go forward and back and columns that go left to right. So we have seven rows on this tray. The distance is 41 millimeters. We usually take a caliper and we'll measure it. And we try to get these pretty close for you um, before you get the machine. The only thing you really have to adjust is usually uh, start locations because of shipping limit switches might move. Or when you put the risers on, it's going to maybe be in a little different, uh, little different position. Then you also have your row quantity. Row quantity, of course, left to right. And then your your uh, column distance, so column quantity, column distance. Um, you also have a configure start location. You want to make sure that's in your program, or I'm sorry, a set start location. 
Uh, this one is using start location one, and how I could tell that is I could clear out this and put the drop down, and you could see the one there. So I'm actually that this tray was configured for start location one. All these settings, if I hit save here, if I hit that save button, save it here under G code. Yes, I want to replace the file. It just saved all those, all those settings, and it also saved your uh, set start location. That way it knows what tray is with what program. Um, so that's pretty much the capper. You do have a pause button, so say a bottle or something does go up as you're running, um, you do have a pause. I'll go ahead and start the cycle and just show you that real quick. So I can actually pause this anytime. So I just hit the pause button and you can see it stopped. I could unpause it and it's going to go again. Um, if you have any questions or, or uh, would like to purchase one of these or see one, uh, please give us a call at www or visit us at www.rockymountainplc or give us a call and we'd be more than happy to help you out with any of your filling or capping needs. Thank you and have a great day.